The first significant snowfall of the season followed by freezing precipitation, slush and ice, all causing potentially dangerous conditions for drivers. But the city of Toledo says it is making sure the streets are safe. 13 ABC's Michaela Marshall continues our team coverage of the winter weather. Well, Joe, I do want to echo what Ross just touched on. As someone who is outside right now, I can let you know it is extremely windy and significantly colder than it was earlier today. City officials say that they are, are prepared and they were prepped well in advance for this weekend storm. Nearly 200 employees are out in full force in more than 40 trucks. Yesterday, the focus was on brine. More than 20,000 gallons of brine was put out on the streets. And today, the effort has been to plow and salt. Heavy, wet snow overnight. Freezing rain, then thawed into slush and puddles. Leaving streets messy and potentially dangerous. But Toledo City plow truck drivers are working long shifts all weekend to keep them clean and salty. In residential neighborhoods like this one in West Toledo, the main focus for city crews is making sure that they're pushing the slush up onto the curbs. That way, the water can drain more easily and avoid slippery ice patches on the roadways. People like George Rodriguez are happy about the snowstorm. I love it. What do you like about the snow? Money. He owns a trucking and plowing company, and so far, it's been a slow season. I wish it was more. We kind of got a late start, so, you know, the money's not going to be there. Before you know it, it's going to be spring. Rodriguez says he was out plowing 10 hours last night. His trucks mostly clear UT parking lots, but he helps his neighbors, too. Yep, and the lady next door, we always get her when we come home. Ron Racy shoveled his driveway Saturday afternoon. The rain itself, I think it helped melt some of it, but it's not easy to move around. I mean, it's pretty heavy, so it, it kind of sucks. It takes probably twice as long as I normally would. Yeah. Despite that, Racy says he doesn't mind the freezing forecast. He's looking on the bright side. I would like some of the snow to stay because I like how it lightens up the, the night so it doesn't seem so dreary and dark since we only have sun for like, what, seven hours of the day now? And with the continued low temperatures expected, the roads also expected to remain slick. And while Lucas County is not under any kind of snow emergency or advisory right now, it's still a good idea to drive slow and take extra precautions until all remains of this winter storm are cleared. Reporting live, Michaela Marshall, 13 ABC Action News.